Yeah, she's going to tell you about this, Pauline. Okay, tell me about it. And okay. She'll film it. This is something that you may need for Pauline, Steve. Oh. <laughs> okay, this is my necklace, and it's called Lifeline. If you're interested, call me, and I have the 800 number. And if you're really interested in giving my name, maybe they'll take a little off of my bill. <laughs> Explain what it does. Yes, I will, and I'll show oh. you. You you pay a certain amount down, and that's another reason to get in touch with me because if I tell them to give it to you cheaper, you'll get it cheaper. Because I've been a good customer and re referred people, and it well, costs you. Really is sounding like a commercial, isn't well, you it? You told me that you're going to. Oh, okay, you. okay. And also, then after you pay the, pay the initial fee down, you pay so much a month. Mine's about forty dollars a month, but it's worth it to feel safe. And for your family to feel that you are safe, I don't think my kids would like me living alone here. Like no, that. no. But this is how it works. So. If she fell or something. Listen. Please wait. Your help call is in progress. Please wait. It takes them a while to Your answer. Help call is in then you do it. Please wait. You want to cancel There's a microphone in here. Listen. Your call has been connected. Listen. Hurry up, I've broken my leg. <laughs> I'm being murdered. <laughs> Somebody's in my house. No, William, I have a friend here that's interested in Lifeline, and I was demonstrating this to her. Oh, very good. How's everything going today? I'm fine today, and uh, I have checked in for my monthly check. Can you hear me all right? It's kind of... Hey, I heard a little static, so I wondered if you could hear me. Yeah, it's your scanner. He's hearing mom. Oh. Yeah. I have a. Right? Yes, I'm okay, and thank you. You're very welcome. I hope you have a good evening. Okay. Thanks again. Bye bye. What's your scanner? It's a little machine that tells her what's going on around town. Well, what do you mean it's a scanner? Well, it's a police scanner. It I'll show it to you in here. Oh. And when the police now now if he called. If, if I didn't answer, he has three numbers listed. My neighbor over here is one, my neighbor here is one, my brother used to be one. And if I don't answer, they call them and somebody comes and checks on me. Oh, that's good. If they can't get them, they call the police and good. they break in if your door is locked. Good. But my neighbors know where a key is outside if my door I is see. locked. And if I'm conscious, I can say, I need an ambulance. Oh, good. And they'll send one right away, and I'll say, come in, you know, or whatever. That's so you talk back and forth. And um, They also have your kids' numbers. Yeah, they yeah. do. Uh -huh. But you guys change your numbers so, so often, I don't depend on that. See, I think yeah. about if you, on the weekends, when you're by yourself, and you, if you fell or something. Am I by myself on weekends? Yeah, Saturday and Sunday you're by yourself. So if so. you fell... You'd have this around your neck or your wrist. You can get a bracelet also. You just push the button, and it comes through the phone system, and you can hear all through the house, and they'll say, Pauline, are you okay? And who answers that? It's, a, it's, it's in the a, middle of the state someplace. It's a service that you pay for. You pay for it. You pay 40 a month, and, and then they answer the phone. They're on call there just to answer calls from older folks. 24 but, hours a day. Yeah. I can do that anytime I want. That's good. How long have you had it? I've had it for... Seven years now, ever since Charlie died. Have you? Uh -huh. And they always answer right away. And yeah, sometimes that's you know they don't take much longer than that to answer. Sometimes if you're laying there suffering, you probably think they're not answering very fast, but they answer pretty fast. I'm sure they do. Tell her about the day that your neighbor came barging in the door. Oh, I was showing it to a couple of my nieces that were here, and I pressed it, and I had. I moved my telephone and it wasn't hooked up. I'd gotten my computer then, mm -hmm. and you have to get a thing on your computer to make it to keep all the static out. Yeah. So, anyhow, I'd gotten, I put them on myself, and I got the what do you call those things anyway? But anyway, I put it on backwards. Anyway, I buzzed the thing, and I could hear just as well as I could then, but they couldn't hear me, mm -hmm. and they called my neighbor. Well. I could hear them, and I said, I can't hear you very well, but I'm all right. I'm just showing this off, you know, and I thought it was all ended. And 
somebody burst in the front door and here's my neighbor over here. Arlene, Arlene, how are you? Are you all right? Are you all right? You know, we all jumped and they're sitting in the front room and scared us to death, you know. Oh, I bet. And they got my neighbor on his cell phone. He was out working in the shop and he ran over uh -huh. to see what was the matter. Uh -huh. And he's the one that discovered my thing was on the telephone backwards. Well, uh -huh. you doing all of this all.